Don't flip out, but it's extremely easy to flip a video in Final Cut Pro and all it takes is one click. I'll share seven techniques to flip a video from beginner to pro level. And at the end, I'll show you how to make this cool 3D effect. Catch you on the flip side. In Final Cut Pro, open up the effects browser by clicking on this little icon here or pressing Command 5 to open it up. Then go down to the distortion category and scroll down and you'll find this flipped effect. Drag and drop it onto your clip. And now we've flipped. Go to the inspector. If it's not open, click on this button up here with three sliders to open it. And under the video inspector, under effects, you'll see the flipped effect. If I uncheck it here, you'll see here's my normal video clip of my guy. And then if I check it, he's flipped to the other side. Really quick, really fast way to flip. You can also adjust how much you want it flipped. Zero means not flipped at all. 100 means flipped all the way on the direction it's listed here. If we go about halfway, a little under halfway, we've got this cool kind of angle. And I'm gonna show you in a little bit how to do a cool 3D effect with this. Under direction, we can say, let's flip it horizontal or vertical. So now he's upside down, or we can select both. So he'll be upside down and on the other side. We can also animate this. So first put the playhead where we want the start of the animation. And then in the inspector, click on the add keyframe button. Then move forward in time and put the playhead where we want it to end. And then change amount to 100 and it adds a new keyframe. And here's what that looks like. You can also flip your video in the viewer. Right click on the viewer, select transform. Click up here to zoom out a little bit. There we go. If I click and drag on one of these corner handles, it changes the size. And if I go all the way through and come out to the other side, it flips it for us. So this is like doing the flip effect, but manually. The corners will flip it both horizontally and vertically. If I click on one of these handles on the left or right hand side, drag it over to the left until it lines up there. And at the top, you'll notice it says width negative 100. So now I know that it's been flipped perfect. If I wanna flip it vertically, I just do it on the top or bottom. Just drag it to the opposite side and I want height to hit negative 100. If I wanna reset it, I can just click on this reset button and it goes back to normal. And then to get out of this transform view, click done. We can do the same thing in the inspector. Under the video inspector, go to transform and our scale here. If I change scale X to negative 100, it flips it horizontally. If I change scale Y to negative 100, it changes it vertically upside down. And then if I want to flip both, I just double click on scale all and enter negative 100, press enter. It flips it horizontally and vertically. Let's say you want to permanently flip a clip. You want this clip to be flipped over so that he's on the left-hand side every time you add it to your project. Well, there's a way to do that. Select your clip, then press Shift F. It will select your clip here in the browser. Once you have the clip you want to flip permanently selected, go up to Clip and select Open Clip. Opens the clip in the timeline here, and any changes we make to this, it will be in that clip. So keep that in mind, this is permanent. So I'll select the clip, and I can add the flipped effect, or I can come up here and change this scale from 100 to negative 100 and press enter. Now he's on the other side. I'll click here and I'll select close my clip. Now when I add that clip to my timeline, he is flipped, but it didn't flip it for any instances of him already in the timeline. So let's select this again and go up to clip, open clip. And if we select it, we can change this back by changing negative 100 to 100 on scale X. And now he is back to normal. Final Cut Pro has this cool mirror effect built in. If I drag and drop it onto my clip here, I can then use the on-screen control to change that mirror. But when I have a clip like this where the action is on the left or the right-hand side, I can't mirror it with this effect. I wanna see myself over here on the left and the right, but it just doesn't work, this mirror effect. So I'll delete that and I'll hold down Option and click and drag on my clip upwards to make a copy of it. Then I'll add the flipped effect to my top clip. Now I'm over here on the right-hand side, but I don't see the bottom clip. So with the top clip selected, go to the inspector, and we need to adjust our crop. Drag on the left crop to make that even. So this clip is a 4K, and so half of that is 1920. So it's perfectly in the middle. And now I have this cool mirrored effect with a clip that I couldn't mirror before. Hey, do you like that effect? Are you flipping out over all these cool tips I'm giving you? If so, please give this video a thumbs up so other people will find it and see it. Thank you so much. And in just a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to do that cool 3D effect. But first I wanna show you how to rotate video in Final Cut Pro. In the viewer, right click and select transform. You'll get this little rotate icon in the middle here. And if I click and drag on this little blue circle, I can rotate my video. If I pull it out further, I can get finer control 
over the rotation. If I hold shift, you'll see it snaps at 45 degree increments. And look up at the top, you'll see it tells us our rotation information, it tells me what angle I've got it rotated to, and then in parentheses, how much I've changed the rotation. A lot of times you might have a clip like this where your horizon is off, but there's a tool we can use in Final Cut Pro. Go up to view in the right hand corner and select show horizon underneath overlays. This shows us the horizon or a guide we can use to line up our horizon. So now let's right click, select transform, and let's move this up first to get our horizon matched up with this guide. So in the inspector, I'm going to click and drag up on our Y value to move it up here close. There we go. And now I'll use this rotate control to get my horizon just right there. That looks good. I'll reset my Y value to zero. But now we've got these edges here, these clips here on the corner. That's all right. We can scale it up a little bit by clicking and dragging on scale in the inspector and zooming in. And now we've eliminated those blank spaces. And now I can click done here, then click view and click show horizon to turn it off. And now our horizon is nice and level. You can also rotate in the inspector. Just click and drag on this little rotation icon up and down to rotate it. It's kind of hard to do with this little guy here. So I like to actually click and drag in the number here to rotate it. If I hold down shift, I can do it in 10 degree increments. And if I hold down option, I can do it in very small increments and get it fine tuned, get it just perfect. I can also double click on the number and enter a new value and then press enter and it will rotate it automatically. Right now, it's rotating around the center of the video clip. I can change where it rotates by adjusting the anchor point. I'll double click here on X for anchor point and let's add negative 500 and you'll see it shifts the video over. So we'll need to adjust the position. So I'll double click on X position and enter negative 500 to match it. And now our video is back to normal and our anchor point is over here to the left. Watch when I rotate it, it now rotates about the left side instead of right in the center. Okay, this 3D effect is perfect for screen recordings. So I've got a screen recording of another tutorial I did and I'll go to distortion and I'll add flip to my clip. Oh, I don't want it that way. Now everything's backwards. So in the inspector, I'll go to horizontal direction and I'm gonna change it to both. And then I'm gonna set my amount down to a three. I'll double click on it and enter three. It's kind of leaning towards the camera and also kind of at an angle. It looks pretty cool. Now in the inspector, I'm going to increase the scale so that it fills up the screen and we get a little closer to it, 150 looks good. And now I'll go to the beginning of my clip and I'm gonna put a keyframe for amount on flipped. And then I'm gonna go to the end of my clip here and I'm gonna set it to 10. So it's gonna rotate from three to 10, this subtle little movement like this. Nice, that looks good. But now we wanna add some depth of field. We wanna blur it a little bit so that it looks like it's close to a camera. So go to the blur section of your effects and add this focus blur to your clip. In the inspector, set height to 100. And now we can use this on-screen control and move it around to change our focal point. So if we want the focal point to be to the left here, we can do that. But I want it more over here where the viewer is. We can adjust the softness as well. And now our screen recording has been jazzed up and we've got a little depth of field and some animation and movement to it. That is so cool. I love Final Cut Pro. Now that you know how to flip video in Final Cut Pro, you'll want to learn how to change the duration of video clips, transitions, pictures, everything. I put together 16 tricks for changing duration in Final Cut Pro and made a video about it. Check it out right here.